What's up, Iskar? Welcome to South Florida. Uh, wanted to ask you, what, what was your free agency process like and what led you to, uh, to wanting to join the Dolphins? Hey, I appreciate the welcome. I'm happy to be here. Um, you know, free agency, it was my first time going through it. You know, just an interesting process, you know, not truly knowing where I was going to land, um, you know, and dealing kind of with the, the stresses that go along with that process, but really just took it all in, you know, leaned on, you know, my agent and, and my support group to, to help me uh, steer in the right direction. And at the end of the day, you know, Miami, uh, you know, it's just a, a great historic franchise that, uh, you know, there's a huge opportunity here as it pertains to, uh, you know, to winning football games and, and uh, you know, the, the coaching staff talk, talking with Coach Flo, um, really respect what they're doing. Um, so at the end of the day, that's, uh, that's what led me here to Miami. Adam? Yeah, hey, echoing Safed, you know, welcome to Miami. Um, I'm, I'm curious, when, when you had those conversations with, 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 with Brian and, and Chris Greer, what was your role for 2021 discussed and what do they, how do they envision using you this year? Yeah, no, nah, I mean, we, you know, didn't get into particulars um, about about the role, just knowing that whatever it was going to be, you know, it was a role that's that, that's going to have to be earned, uh, which I respect and, I, you know, and I look forward to. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, the, the coaches have have a job and and all I can do, go out there and do is, is compete, show my stuff and and let them kind of plug in, um, you know, plug me in as, as they see fit. And so so looking forward to uh, to that. Alan? Uh, hi, Brandon. I will echo what Safed and Adam said. Welcome to, to South Florida. Uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on being reunited with uh, Benardrick McKinney and what kind of player are the Dolphins getting both in you and in McKinney? Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, man, B-Mac, that's a, a great guy, a good friend of mine, um, a great teammate to have out on the football on the football field, you know, I think that the biggest thing about BMAC is that he, he loves the game of football. You know, he's passionate to be out there on the field, you know, and I think that's one of the, the most important pieces to, uh, you know, to playing with somebody is somebody who, who wants to be out there and loves to be out there. And so that's really what I'm looking forward to. And I, I would say, say I, uh, I share kind of those, uh, those same values, if you will, you know, look forward to competing uh, every day. And, and at the end of the day, you know, look forward to winning football games because, you know, that's really what, what we're out here to do. So, um, you know, I, I would say, I would say that's what they got uh, here in the, in the two of us is two guys that love to compete and love to play the game of football. Adam. Yeah. Can you kind of take us through how 2020 was for you? I know you were a little banged up and it might not have been what you're hoping for. Do you think that the player we saw in 19 is going to be, be there for us in 2021? Yeah. You know, play to the best of my ability, uh, for sure. I think, uh, you know, a lot of stuff obviously happened in, 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 in 2020. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to, to look forward to 2021 and, and being here with, uh, as a part of the Miami Dolphins organization uh, and everything that, you know, that we've got, we got coming uh, down the road. And, and I think, you know, I, I'm really excited about where, um, where it's headed. And so I'm um, looking forward to, to 2021. How? I'm not going to be the only guy on here not to say welcome to South Florida. <laughs> so <laughs> welcome to South Florida. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about your college career. Um, the Cal Stanford thing, uh, that normally doesn't go together, but you made it happen. So if you could describe what that was like and also – I read that uh, you had some interesting uh, choice of major with the uh, engineering. Uh, what did you have in mind to, to, you know, do with that as a, maybe a post football career? Yeah, for sure. Uh, man. Yeah. I, I did the Cal Stanford thing. It doesn't, it doesn't really happen like that. Uh, but for me, it was, it was just the best path. Uh, Cal was a great university, a great uh, football program. But after I graduated, uh, as you said, with the business degree, uh, after four years there, uh, it, it was time to move on. And, uh, and Stanford was, you know, an opportunity there, you know, just had to go about 45 minutes south <laughs> and uh, 
and was lucky enough to pursue my master's degree, as you said, in engineering there and, and, and really play a, a, a physical brand of football um, and, and be a part of a, a winning culture uh, at that time. And, and, you know, got to win, won a Rose Bowl, which I'm uh, proud of. And, um, and yeah, you know, uh, concerning the degrees, just uh, education is important to me. I love to challenge myself in, you know, every area of life. And uh, Stanford did that for sure. Uh, but I got through it, man. So, uh, yeah. Alan? Uh, hi, Brendan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you played at Cal with Austin Clark. Uh, <laughs> no, so I wanted to ask you, what kind of a player was he and how weird is it that he's now on the, one of your coaches on the defensive staff? Uh, you talk about a player with some grit. Oh, oh AC. AC has some grit, man. Just, uh, an, again, another guy that loved to, to play the game, you know, and, and you, I could tell back then, you know, just kind of how passionate he was about the ins and outs of the game and the fundamentals, uh, you know, and, and the kind of, you know, the intangible things that, that you know, it takes to be a great football. Uh, AC had all those things. So, you know, I'm not surprised he's sitting in the seat that he's sitting in now. I'm really excited to, to work with him again, um, you know, and, and and really pursue this thing together uh, once again. So, yeah, AC, he was, uh, he was a honey badger. That's what we called him back then. He was like, you know, there was Tyron Matthew, and then there was Austin Clark. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything for Brennan? All right, one more here. We'll go to Safi. Brennan, I don't want to bring up old stuff, but, I, you know, a couple of you guys are from the Texans joining the Dolphins here. Um, and it seems like everybody's kind of happy to kind of leave that situation for a new one. Um, can you just speak to that? I, I guess what this new opportunity holds for you guys after having some frustrating years in Houston? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Miami Dolphins organization has, you know, a great history, you know, a history of winning. Uh, a historic organization has been around for a lot of years, you know, and one that, you know, I've always respected, you know, growing up and, and always looked to. And so I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of that, a part of that story, you know, looking, looking forward to the 2021 season, you know, and everything that and that, that could possibly be. I'm just, you know, excited to be a part of it and, uh, and get out there and compete, uh, win football games and have some fun. So, you know, I think for me, that's, that's really what, um, you know, what I'm excited about being here.